the best fighters in the world, what makes them great is not their speed, not their power, but the, you know, of course they move with conviction, but they're always in great shape because condition is 90% of fighting, but they all have incredible basics. You never really see a world champion who has sloppy technique. The two don't go together. Muhammad Ali had a fabulous left hook, fabulous left hook with a, a crazy right hand and a blinding jab. Of course, he had good footwork. Tyson just had incredible torque when he got inside. Getting close, he just ripped. Pop, pop! Just incredible, tight, powerful punches. Uh, you got guys like Rocky Marciano who just had a hard head, but he had good training. The guy would go through like a 26 round workout in the gym and go right back to the beginning and go through the exact same workout all the way through again. Just incredible condition. Muhammad Ali used to run nine miles in Miami to get to the gym to work out. Go through the entire workout, turn around and run the same nine miles all the way back home at the end of the workout. How are you going to last in the deep water where the fighter runs 18 miles a day? So you want to, gee, his legs are going to give out. That's what the news guy should say. Go out there and run with that sucker one day. Tell me his legs are going to give out. So the conditioning is the key to your attitude. Of course, you need the basics to have confidence in what the heck your mind is telling you to do. Uh, but feel free to kind of add to it. Hold on one second. What time is it? I don't want West Virginia time. What time is it? Oh, it looks like it's up. Okay. Watch this. I want to do some body work before we wrap up. Come here, handsome. No, 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 the whole thing. Uh, Mike, let me get you back on here again. You didn't have enough air time. Yeah. Mike Allen, Allen Branch. <laughs> Who calls me more than anybody else in the organization next to Mike Allen? Me? Look at your long this is phone bill. How many times you call me? It's collect. No. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you back collect. I want us to work a little bit on I wish we all had heavy bags in here. We just can't afford to buy the bags, but more so than that, uh, it's hard to get our host John Maynard to get the people to bring the bags in here. So let's make the best we can working with the equipment. I want you to work on three punches before we leave today. These are the body punches. We played a little bit with it yesterday. Watch it. Again, I want you to go back to slipping here with the right knee. See the knee clapping? Rotating the ankle out. Rotating hip forward underneath your shoulder. Now you're going to pronate position. That means the palm is down. Notice when I throw the right punch at the heart, the elbow goes up a little higher than the knuckle. Let me freeze frame right here. Notice my right elbow is about two inches higher than my knuckles. See it? Then as I punch, watch my head. My head goes across to the center of his body. Boom. Everybody see it? Watch again. Knee starts to collapse. See the knees collapsing forward. Sort of down on the 45 degree angle. Everybody see that motion? Everybody try that little motion with me, please. So you get the, you don't squeeze the trigger right, the punch is not going to finish up right. Now I'm doing this because folks, I can look at about 99.9% .9 of all the black belts in kickboxing. They don't know how to body punch. I'll say it right to their face. Because how many times do you see a guy drop and kick off with a body punch? Never. Right? Because they're not getting their body into it. Now what? Knee collapses one, two, take that right ankle. Rotate that ankle out, not up, just out. Now look, see your shoulder is still in front of your right hip. So now what? Take your hip, turn that belly button. See the belly button where it's pointing? See I'm pointing it outside. His left shoulder. I'm going to turn that belly button as I rotate the hip underneath my shoulder. Now my weight's going to shift from the right foot over to the left foot. So my head outside his left shoulder is now going to shift over in front of his body. Boom! As I land the pronated punch. That means the elbow is a little bit higher than the knuckles. I want you to make contact with your right hand sort of at a perfect right angle. Does everybody see the angle here? So I've got good leverage here. If I'm out like this, like a reverse punch, you're losing power. 